Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today we've got a 1.2 Corsa that's in for, well, a customer broke down and when he opened the bonnet, he had loads of steam coming out. So it's an indication of a split pipe. Hopefully it's not overheated and we've got a um, head gasket situation on our hands. But first things first is that we're gonna have to put a compression tester on it and see where the leaks come from. So with the correct adapter on the expansion bottle, we'll connect up the um, compression tester. This then will compress all the coolant in the system. So if there is any kind of split or a weakness anywhere, it should start to leak out of there because it's under load. Yeah, you can even hear the, um, the leak now. There's a bit of a better view that it's coming from the um, coolant housing that's attached to the block of the engine on the right hand side. And it's just pouring out then through that pinhole there. So we're gonna have to replace that now. So we'll have to disconnect the, um, the top O2 sensor, the coil pack, and the coolant temperature sensor that's in the housing. We'll have to take off the piping that are, that's going to and from that housing as well. And there's three E-Torx 10s that are, is holding the actual housing on. Now that we can remove the actual housing, you can see the, um, the pinhole and damage and where it's leaking from, so it's just there. So now all we've got to do is replace it, fill it with coolant and retest. It's always good and best practice to compare the old and the new part together just in case there's anything that needs to be swapped over. In this case, everything's fine and you'll notice that it comes with a new coolant temperature sensor. So now we just put this back together in the reverse order, which we took it off, and then we'll put coolant in it. It's always a good idea to make sure that the surfaces are nice and clean so that the seal on the other side of the coolant housing has a nice surface to adhere to so then you don't have any leaks. This is why it's good to do another compression test after you've replaced the defective component because this compression test is now showing me that there's still a leak somewhere in the system but luckily enough that it's on one of the pipes right right at the top and i'll show you the comparison now so the pipe that connects at the top of this housing to the top of the expansion bottle you see there it's gone all crusty on the connection so that's how it came out of the old housing but you'll see now with the new pipe, see it's a lot prouder and the seal is a lot in a lot better condition. So we can see them compared next to each other. The difference is night and day. So we'll just replace this. Okay, so now that we've replaced this pipe going to the top of the expansion bottle, um, we've done another compression test and it seems to be holding its pressure now and there's no loss of, there's no visible loss of coolant. So now we'll run it up to temperature to see how she behaves. Okay, so after road test, we came back and did another pressure test. All okay, no leaks. 